Question number 3 says that express each of the following numbers using exponential notation. To express each of the given numbers in the 4 bits that we have in exponential notation, we will have to prime factorize them. We will start with the first bit wherein we have been given with the number 512. So let's prime factorize it. By prime factorization we mean that we should divide the given number by all the possible prime numbers by which it is divisible. So we will take 2 first. On dividing 512 by 2 we get 256. Dividing it by 2 again gives us the answer as 128. Dividing it by 2 again gives us the answer 64. Dividing 64 by 2 again gives us the answer 32. Dividing 32 by 2 gives us the answer as 16. Dividing 16 by 2 gives us the answer as 8. Now we know that 8 is a cube of 2. So this can be written as 2 cube. So if we count, 2 is appearing 9 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 2 raised to 3. So 512 can be written as 2 raised to 3 times 2 raised to 6 and then that will be 2 raised to 9. So this is how we express or write 512 in exponential notation. We'll do the second bit now which is 343. Let's prime factorize it. We'll take the first prime number to be 7. So dividing 343 by 7 gives us 49. We know that 49 can be divided by 7. So we'll divide it by 7 again we get 7 and we can divide 7 by 7 that gives us the answer as 1. So 7 is appearing 3 times that means 343 can be written as a cube of 7. So the exponential notation for 343 is 7 cube. Coming to the third bit which is 729. Let's prime factorize it. So we will be dividing it by all the possible prime numbers by which it is divisible. We will take 3 first. Dividing 729 by 3 gives us 243. 243 divided by 3 gives us the answer as 81. 81 on division by 3 gives us the answer as 27. 27 being divided by 3 gives us the answer as 9. And we know that 9 is a square of 3. So we can write 9 as 3 square. So 729 can be written as 3 raised to 6 in exponential notation. We will now be solving the last bit that is the fourth bit of this question. So 3125 is to be prime factorized. We will take the number 5 first. So on dividing 3125 by 5 gives us 625. Dividing 625 by 5 gives us the answer as 125. Dividing 125 by 5 gives us the answer 25. Dividing it by 5 again gives us 5. 5 on division by 5 gives us the answer 1. So 3125 can be written as 5 raised to 5 in the exponential notation. And this is how we solve this problem. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.